Am I the asshole? For not reimbursing my nanny for books she bought for my daughter? My daughter, Ruby, is 12. Recently, she has gotten into the original Star Trek show, as well as The Next Generation. Ruby is also a big reader and has started to collect a few of the old Star Trek books that she finds in used bookstores and thrift stores. These books usually cost anywhere from 50 cents to a couple of dollars. My nanny, Tessa F22, hangs out with Ruby most days after she gets out of school. Tessa has been our nanny for over a year now and she and Ruby get along great. Tessa is big into to thrifting and will often keep an eye out for the books Ruby wants. This is not typically a problem and Ruby always pays Tessa back for the books using her allowance. The problem occurred when Tessa went on a family vacation out west. Apparently she went thrifting during this trip and found some books for Ruby. She texted Ruby asking her if she wanted the books and Ruby said yes. Well Tessa returned yesterday with a stack of about 35 books and told Ruby they cost $50. Ruby doesn't have this much money and told Tessa. Tessa then asked me if I would cover the cost. I said no as Tessa had never asked me about buying Ruby the books, nor was I aware of the conversation between the two of them. Tessa got upset and I asked Ruby to show me the text which made no mention of price, or even the amount of books she was buying. Tessa only said that she found some books for Ruby. Ruby is on the autism spectrum and does not read between the lines. You have to be very literal with her. Previously, Tessa has never bought Ruby more than one or two books at a time, so I told her that she should have clarified with Ruby regarding the amount, or double checked with me before purchasing, and that I would not be paying the $50. Tessa said she could not return the books because they came from the thrift store. I stood firm in my decision and reiterated that she should have asked me first. Tessa left and Ruby is very upset. I know Tessa is a student and does not have a ton of money so am I the asshole for not paying Tessa for the books? Edit because some people are asking I am a single parent to Ruby and while $50 dollars will not make or break the bank, it is definitely an unexpected expense. I provide Tessa with an extra amount of money each month to spend on whatever she wants to do with Ruby movies, the mall, etc. If she wanted to spend this fund on books for Ruby, that would have been totally fine but she had already used it up. Edit 2 I definitely didn't expect this post to blow up overnight, so I am going to add a bit more context. For those of you who are asking how I can afford an Annie for Ruby and still have $50 be a large unexpected expense I do not pay for Tessa's services. Because Ruby is on the spectrum, she is entitled to benefits from our state, including care. The agency I work with pays Tessa. I am not involved in that process at all. Sometimes it's better to salvage an important relationship than to be right. Pay for the books. Let Tessa know that you can't do so in the future, though, without talking about it. Tell her how much you appreciate her thoughtfulness, now and always. ESH. Tessa, for not double checking that you'd cover the $50 for your own daughter to read, and you, for not covering a lousy $50 for your own daughter's reading passion. If I were you I'd suck it up and pay the $50 stat, or someone is going to scoop up your really thoughtful nanny very soon. I'm thinking of hiring her and I don't even have kids at home, I just want someone to thrift books for me. Not the asshole who expects a 12 year old to have $50 to spend on books. And you said you already give her extra money for things like this but she spent this months already? She should have asked you before buying them. With that said, you should probably give her the money if you can afford to because she seems like a great nanny who made one mistake and you your daughter could well lose her over this, that wouldn't be fair on your kid. Not the asshole. She normally brings Ruby a couple books which is probably what she was expecting. Ruby is a child. Fifty dollars is quite a bit of money to expect a child have on hand. She should have messaged the price number of books to Ruby or you especially if she was gonna drop $50. I appreciate the gesture but I was not expecting this expense, please let me know next time you are thinking about doing this. I'll be downvoted, but not the asshole. 
I think it's extremely in poor taste to basically stick a bill on someone who never agreed to pay it. Especially as a single mother, I don't think you'd be wrong to not pay her. But I do agree that if she treats your daughter so well, tell her to please refrain from making any purchases in the future for your daughter without asking you first. Then pay her the dollars. So you're not the asshole for expecting the nanny to clear a significant purchase with you first. I don't know your financial setup or relationship, but I couldn't go out and spend $50 and expect someone to pay me back without an adult first approving it. However, you got to ask if $50 is worth the grief and stress of finding a new nanny. Personally I think you'd be better saying you will pay this one time but all future purchases over $20 must be agreed first. You're the asshole. Jesus, you're stingy. You're blessed with a very thoughtful nanny who thinks of your child even when she's not at work. There was a misunderstanding about the cost. All you had to do to behave decently was pay her but ask her to please confirm amounts with Ruby in the future and that if it happens again you won't be able to pay for it. Not the asshole, for all the reasons others have given. My advice is to pay Tessa your own money now, and have the money be taken out of Ruby's future allowance assuming she's okay with it, which it seems like she would be if she loves the books so much. Then I'd do what someone else suggested and tell Tessa not to buy more books without asking you first. Many people don't understand that $50 is a huge thing for some people. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills reading these comments. You don't spend money on someone and then ask to be reimbursed. Unless there was communication beforehand which there wasn't. Your nanny is being extremely rude. If you want to go forward with her I'd just pay but make it clear not to buy anything for your daughter without her permission since it clearly isn't from the good of her heart. Not the asshole. While I think what Tessa was doing was very nice, she should have clarified how many books and the exact cost. And at $50 she should have checked with you. That said, she's a student and she doesn't have much money. You don't owe it to her to reimburse her, but if you can afford it I think it would be nice to do. I also think, either way, you should sit down and have a friendly talk with Tessa about the situation and where you're coming from. Good luck. Not the asshole. Maybe it's just me but unless she told Ruby specifically she found that many books and it cost $50 it was weird to assume a 12 year old would have that kind of cash and to just expect you'd pay the difference. I'm not sure if she just didn't think it through but $50 is a lot, that's not the kind of thing you just assume a child has. Not the asshole. I was a nanny for a year. The dad who was a single dad of four with no support provided an allowance for us to do stuff. If I wanted to get the kids something special I would with my own money. I never asked for him to pay for it because I knew he was on a tight budget. This would be things like getting him Father's Day stuff from the kids, little treats on outings and the occasional lunch I am now married with my own family and still keep in touch with him and his kids.